46 year old Kareem Harris was hit and killed while crossing Gratiot near the intersection of Roan. And 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass is following this story for us tonight and has more on what police and the family want you to know. Detroit police need your help tonight finding the driver of a car that hit and killed a man on Gratiot. They have a photo of the vehicle, but right now no one in custody. What happened to him was very tragic. You know, uh, we didn't expect it. Shanu Harris was caught off guard Thursday morning, being woken up by a 3 a.m. phone call telling him his older brother had died. It was tough. It was tough. His brother, Kareem Harris, was in a wheelchair and was crossing Gratiot just after midnight when this Chevy Tahoe hit him and kept going. The guy could have stopped. Checked him out, you know, maybe he could have saved his life. His brother was pronounced dead on scene, but police were able to capture surveillance of the car and also the front grill left behind at the scene. I hope they catch him because he definitely uh, deserved whatever, whatever was coming to him. A number of fatal hit and run accidents have already been reported in Metro Detroit this year. And according to the Governor's Highway Safety Association, pedestrian fatalities across the country increased by 20% last year. He's a great guy, great personality, um, love his kids. Chanu is hoping you see this picture to put a face to this tragic accident and is hoping you see this picture to find the person responsible. It's tough. It's tough. Um, but I hope they catch them. That car is described as a 2007 gray or tan Chevy Tahoe. If you recognize the vehicle, you were asked to contact Crime Stoppers at 1 800 Speak Up. In Detroit tonight, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.